Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake with a public service announcement for all YouTube content creators. It's come to our attention that a lot of YouTube email scams are going on. You will want to avoid these YouTube email scams and I'm gonna tell you some other ways to protect your YouTube account from being compromised because this is very important. Do me a favor. I need you to do a few things when it comes to this video. I need you to like this video and I need you to share this video with as many people as possible. Share it in Facebook groups, share it in Reddit communities, share it in Twitter, share it in Discord, share it wherever you can so that more content creators can protect themselves from being scammed and losing their account, losing their AdSense and being hijacked. Okay, now that you've shared this video, the most important thing, and I'll get into some of the details of these email scams and these phishing scams that are gonna try and take your YouTube account and like completely destroy your career as a content creator. And this happened to like a lot of people lately, especially even some larger channels. Here's the first thing I want you to do before you do anything else. I want you in the about section of your YouTube channel, that thing you've been ignoring, I want you to change your email address and no longer make that email address the Gmail account associated with your YouTube account and your Google AdSense because they are using that information to target you. So if you change that email address and change your contact me at your business email to something else, hopefully with your own website, when they reach out, you will know that it is in fact a scam because then you will know that YouTube knows the account tied to your Google and your Gmail and your AdSense and that the publicly available email is a different one. Creating this one layer of separation from the public access to that email, knowing that that email is tied to your Google AdSense, tied to your YouTube account. And if you're a full-time content creator, this really matters because it's probably the thing that's making you your living right now. Separating that email account from the public eye should be one of your first priorities. I cannot stress this enough. It's one of the first things I tell a lot of my coaching clients. I tell the members in my group. I tell everybody that I can to please, for the love of God, change the email on your about section to something else. Have a dedicated business email, and that's the public email. And do not use the Google account tied to your YouTube channel and to your AdSense for anything else. I know it's a hassle to make multiple email addresses. Take it out of the equation so that your AdSense is never compromised. So there was a YouTuber that had this happen um, a little before the holidays. Um, Alexandria Ryan, I believe, was um, the YouTube creator that I'm thinking of. And she lost tens of thousands of dollars because someone decided to um, compromise this account and it's because they had this email address and they sent out one of these phishing scam like emails. And so what happened was they locked her out of her AdSense account, they changed the password, and they changed the routing number so that her YouTube checks, her Google AdSense YouTube checks were going to their bank account over in Egypt instead of to her. Tens of thousands of dollars just walked away until YouTube was able to sort it all out and she was able to get access to the account and fix all of that. This is something that I want more of you to put a barrier in place for and there's a couple of ways to do it. Number one, assume any email communication from Google AdSense and from YouTube is a scam. That sounds extreme, but I want you to assume that first and then do the following. Check your account without opening that email and see if there are any alerts or any messages that are in your dashboard because they will use their systems to contact you usually before they resort to an email. So if there's a problem, it'll usually be an alert in the system first. Check the system first. Do not assume the email is legit. Assume the email is from a phishing scammer like just assume the worst when you get an email in a different way. <laughs> like, and here are the typical emails they'll send you to frighten you. They'll send you an account termination email, a copyright claim or strike email, or tell you that your Google AdSense account had invalid click activity. These are the tricks that they will use to try to get you to open one of these emails. And so 
uh, there are a couple of ways to identify it. One, you'll if you go to where the email came from, you'll see that it's not from google.com. When YouTube and Google contact you, it's a google.com email address. Now there are ways for people to fake that, but it's very rare that that happens. But again, assume that all of these emails and all emails with this type of subject line are in fact a scam and just check your account first without clicking on them. The other thing is YouTube typically doesn't require you and Google doesn't require you to click on anything when they send you these emails in order to accomplish something. So avoid that at all cost as well. There's usually no reason for them to send you an email like this and usually there's no reason for them to have a button for you to click on. Nope. I haven't seen it in my entire career as a content creator. They usually don't need you to do that. They also never ask for your password, so don't do that either. So that's a big part of this. Separate that email address and assume that any email that says that it's from Google AdSense or from YouTube is a scam. Next, the thing that I want you to do is, again, have all these different separate emails. And by the way, do not tie your other social media accounts to the Gmail account that you use for YouTube in case they're ever compromised. All of those accounts can probably have one email address for all of your other social media, and then you have another email address for YouTube, and then you have a public email address that people can email you at and send you business to. Again, I know it's inconvenient to have like five email accounts. You will thank me later. The next thing is do not trust any browser plugins that are not YouTube certified. The YouTube certified plugins that I know that you can trust if you're a YouTuber are things like vidIQ, TubeBuddy, Social Blade, uh, Video Amigo, and those are basically the main ones. And oh yeah, Morning Fame, okay? These are usually the things that you can trust. Do not give things access to your YouTube account. Do not give things access to your Google account. Uh, you can trust a few other things like if this, then that. Um, you know, you can trust a lot of these higher end, larger public facing um, organizations that have browser plugins. If it has a browser plugin and their Twitter account is verified, more likely to trust that. But just be very careful about what you give access to your YouTube and Google account because that could compromise it too and that could be a problem. So you'll want to avoid that. Finally, if you're doing sponsorship and brand deals and you get an email where it seems too good to be true and they want you to give them access through a click or a link to something, um, avoid that. And also, if you're getting a sponsor email and they don't have a website address and usually if they don't have a phone number, Again, it's probably not legit. And if they're asking you in the first email interaction to click on something, it's probably a phishing scam that if you click on it, will give them access to your Google or YouTube account through that link. Avoid this at all cost. Avoid this at all cost. Especially those of you who are smaller YouTubers, you are more likely to fall for this because you are ecstatic about finally getting your first brand deal and they know that and that's how they're going to try to get you. So again, quick public service announcement. I know that that's a lot and it might be scary and overwhelming, but I really do believe that these are the things that will protect your YouTube account and your Google AdSense account from being compromised and hijacked. You don't wanna lose your YouTube channel. You don't want someone stealing your AdSense and your hard earned money. And these are the preventative measures that are going to keep you safe as a content creator. So. You know, I'm losing my voice again now, but I had to make this video to let you guys know that these phishing scams and these email scams and um, these fake sponsorship scams are a thing and that you should always approach anything like this that seems too good to be true or is very scary with skepticism and doubt. It's very important for you. And like I said, the easiest way to start to filter this is if you change your public email and don't give out your Google AdSense email to anyone anymore. And if you change your public email to a business email address, usually I would hope with your own website or just make another Google account, Gmail account, whatever, but 
hopefully your own email address so that you can better filter these things because I know that getting an email saying uh, something happened to your account is scary. They are banking on your fear in order to trick you into doing exactly the thing that you're afraid of. So I really want you to take these measures to protect yourself. So that's it for this video. By the way, scary topic, I know. Like I said, share it with everybody. If you are somebody who's new to my channel and this is the first video, I'm sorry that we had to start off with a terrifying topic. It's not the great first impression I would want you to have, but I hope you'll stick around. And if you like the content, subscribe. Again, scary topic. If you have questions, leave them for me in the comment section. I will try to reply to as many of you as I can, as much detail as I can. I hope this video gave you some good advice to help protect you. And if I have any other crazy PSAs, don't worry, I will be posting them. Anyway, guys, um, like this video if it was helpful. Subscribe if you want more. And I will catch you on the next video with something hopefully less terrifying. Stay awesome. Take care.